Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'd like to start by associating myself with the comments of my colleagues um, from California opposing your proposal to open up our coastline to additional oil and gas drilling. Um, this would be disastrous for the coastal economy and public health. 69% of Californians strongly oppose new oil and gas drilling off our coast. Um, I wanted to make sure to reiterate the importance of this issue and our opposition on the record. Um, as somebody who has fought to uh, prevent oil drilling off the California coastline, it's also very personal for me, so I wanted to make sure to also express um, my opposition. I hope, Mr. Te Mr. Secretary, that you will give fair and due consideration to our concerns and the importance of California's coastline and its tourism to our economy when you are uh, making decisions. And I'll relate the same thing that I, when I talked to the Governor Brown, is it was my decision uh, to put everything on so America could see its potential, uh, almost zero-based budgeting, and then talking to, I've talked to every governor, I've talked to most congressmen about it, and then we're going to shape the plan to make sure it reflects the interests of the communities and Thank the Thank you, Mr. Secretary. I only have about three minutes left, and I want to shift gears a little bit. Um, I appreciate that. Um, first, I also I want to thank the ranking member of Grijalva for bringing up the issue of the Department of Interior being a good steward of taxpayer dollars. Um, this also is something that I have um, been doing over the course of my career. Uh, Mr. Secretary, last October, I led a letter, um, which I'm holding up here, along with my friend Mr. Beyer, um, that was signed by 24 other members of Congress, including ranking member Grijalva and nine other members of this committee. It's dated October 3rd, 2017. It asked you to immediately disclose the full details of all of the privately chartered flights that you had taken. Mr. Chairman, I want to start by asking unanimous consent to enter the letter into the record. And you should look at uh, what we've I'm, I'm provided sorry, I'm to. I'm sorry, Mr. Secretary. If, if you let, let me just okay. finish. Um, yes, without objection. Thank you. Um, so the letter that was written to you was as a result of reporting by the Washington Post, Politico, and numerous other sources. The reports included a $12,000 charter flight from Las Vegas, Nevada to Montana, taken last June aboard a plane owned by executives of a Wyoming-based oil and gas exploration firm, part of an industry whose permitting process you are tasked with overseeing. Now, these flights can give the appearance that you are mixing political gatherings and personal destinations with official business. You know, as the letter points out, these privately chartered flights appear to coincide with events held by political donors and speeches before private entities that share a personal connection with you. Um, again, this letter was sent on October the 3rd. Neither I nor Mr. Beyer have yet received a response. Mr. Secretary, it's just a yes or no question. Can I get a commitment from you that you will respond and provide information that we requested in the letter? Well, I can't speak for your ranking member, but I hold a note in response from me that stated October 31st, 2017. So I would suggest you ask your ranking member to give you a copy of the letter okay. we sent. Mr. Secretary, and if you'd like, you, if you'd you like your, more detail on it, we also had a meeting Mr. which Secretary, I had with a ranking, you used to, ranking. Mr. Secretary, yeah. you used to be a member of Congress yourself. When you wrote a letter to a cabinet secretary, did you not expect the cabinet secretary to respond to your letter? October 31st. Is that letter to me? Is that responding to my letter, Mr. Secretary? To the ranking member and to the chairman of this okay, committee. Okay, I, I think you made as my well point, as well as I Mr. had Secretary. a member, I opened a meeting. I reclaim to my time, Mr. Secretary. I'm not done with my line of questioning, and you know, I just very nicely am trying to get a response to to my letter that's directed at me. You know, I have a different office than the ranking member does. Um, and I, the reason I bring this up is because this is a pattern that's impossible to ignore, one that has the optics of the steward of our public lands allowing the concerns of political donors and the oil and gas industry to receive f further greater influence than those of the American people. And ex excessive spending, whether it's on this or a door, can I get a commitment that when I send you a letter, Mr. Secretary, you will respond to me in a timely manner, to me as the member who wrote the letter? 
I would love to give you a commitment, and I wish you would give a commitment to me of courtesy, because I, I answered the letter. Not only did I not answer, not only did I answer the letter, but I also had a minority meeting, which I invited every member of the minority to sit down and talk line by line on any issue you had. And as far as a oil and gas concern, it's contracted by the Department of Interior, blind of origin, and if a company owns a contracted King Air, then we don't look at who owns it, because we go through a government contracting service, and that's exactly what occurred. So to give an allegation that somehow we favor King Airs traveling at night after traveling all day across from Barump, Nevada, would be inappropriate. The uh, chair would ask the uh, unanimous consent that the secretary's response also uh, be included in the record. Mr. Uh